I look amazing. <laughs> hey, I'm Kim. I'm Lola. She's 14. She's no comment. The last time we did one of these videos, Lola was showing me all about her skincare routine, and then I showed her mine. It was pretty gross. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think it's super unfair. Teens these days don't have awkward phases. It's real unfair. Anyway, I thought we would compare my 90s makeup routine to the makeup routine Lola has now. I'm gonna start with some pictures. First thing I'm gonna show you, is about how the foundation, it like reflected light. My face turned stark white in pictures. What is up with that? It's a and lot, then like, look. It pretty. <gasps> oh my god! That's such a good picture. I'm gonna go first. Ready, Lola? I'm gonna take you through the whole routine. First off, we're gonna start. This was like a comb headband. Is like, that to keep your hair back? It could keep your hair back, but also, you know, just to wear out and about. So everybody, that whole like 90s, like Jennifer Aniston look, I didn't have glorious hair like Jennifer Aniston. So I've tried this, and so there's that, but that's gonna keep the makeup out of my face. So take off the makeup. We did not have YouTube. We did not have Instagram. So I was very clueless. I had a kind of like a powder pancake foundation that did not match my skin tone. And then when photographed as for example, oh. it would like reflect light and then my skin, again, was just bright white. The goal was to have no shine at all. Just just really just pancakey. I took the, the blush that they, and then the brush that they gave you, real light, because I wouldn't want to have any sort of color on my skin. If I got real fancy, I would do some of that on my eyelids. That was your eyeshadow too? It, it was kind of like, I wanted to be natural. Okay. Eyebrows. I plucked these suckers. They, I had nice eyebrows like that. I, I came to this earth with those eyebrows. Wh what was I thinking? There's pictures of like Courtney Cox with like these really teeny tiny eyebrows and that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna try to recreate that for you. Just real, real thin all around the eyes. So top, bottom, then, wait for it, this is super gross what I used to do. Super gross, not at all recommended. And I don't think, maybe, I, am I the only person who did this? I would take brown eyeliner that had been on my eyes. I would use it as lip liner. Stop, you're gonna get some kind of disease. It was all about like the neutrals. Okay, God, this is, I'm nailing this. And then, I would take like a clear gloss over it. So here's what I have. Very matte. If you were to take a picture of me with a flash on, I would look like a ghost. I, I'm having a hard time recreating the eyebrows, but imagine like the eyebrows. Um, very matte and then brown lips. Is that it? Basically. It was very simple. Very simple. Interesting. Okay, your turn. So, so I use three things I, <laughs> to prime with. Okay. Um, so this thing is from Milk Makeup, and it, you pretty much, you put it under your eye, so it like wakes you up and it like depuffs your eyes, I guess. You're 14, what do you have to depuff? No, everyone gets like, um, like your face gets swollen when you sleep, just a natural thing. It's not like you're older or anything. Then I use, this is also from Milk Makeup, not sponsored, but mm -hmm. um, it's like a mattifying thing and it mattes only certain areas that you want to yeah. have. You don't that. want to do all just, over. So if I, if I had access to that when I in the 90s, I just would have put that yeah, thing yeah. on my face. But really, I only put it right in between my eyebrows because you don't want that part to be shiny. It's just like, doesn't look good. And I'm also gonna put it on my chin, but that's it. Okay. And then I use this moisturizer primer. Um, I got this in my Ipsy box, but it's called In Transit Camera Close Up. And I'll just put that everywhere else that I didn't put the other stuff. So like on my cheek and then on my, the top of my forehead. This is the foundation I use. It's the best skin ever by Sephora. Whoa. Okay, by Sephora. It's like their brand. And a hack that like works for me is you put it on your hand before you put it on your face. Like how, however much you want. I'm just gonna put like one little bit of it. And then I put it on my cheeks and my forehead. And I blend it out. I use two different shades of concealer for like the different areas of my face because I don't want to look like a ghost. Um, you don't want to look like this? Yes, exactly. 
So I use the Glossier concealers just because they're really lightweight and they're not like, I don't know, they're, they're good. Um, so this is the lighter one and I just put this like on like the like right here on my eyebrows, like right Ooh. there. And it like helps it like lift or whatever. I don't really, like I don't really know. Like a little shape. Um, like yeah. And then I'll also put it on the tip of my nose, like just a little bit, like right there. Ooh, what does that do? It makes it look smaller. Do you have a perfect nose? It's, it's fine, everyone can be improved. <laughs> <laughs> this is the darker shade that like matches my skin tone pretty well. And I put it under my eyes. Okay, for blush, I use the Glossier Cloud Paint. And in the shade Storm, and I'll put it a little bit on my fingers and just put it like right there and like a little bit on my nose. But yeah. So you're supposed to do it across your nose and then a so, little dot? Well, I don't I'm know. learning well, so the, much the, legitimately. The different your face shape is, the different where you're supposed to put your blush. So since I have a round face, you put it on like the sides. I always put it like here. No. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> so this mascara is so viral right now. It's called the Sky High Mascara. Yeah. Um, and this is this is like amazing. It makes your eyelashes go like Whoa. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very good. I only put like one layer on. I use two things for my lips. First, I use this Glossier um, Generation. Whoa, it's backwards. Okay. Um, it's this like lipstick stuff, but it's not actually lipstick. It's like very light. And this I actually use. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so it's very like I'll put like a little bit on, and it's barely you can barely tell. It's like like that's what, that's all I'll do, and then I'll. But yeah, it just gives a little bit of color. Little oomph. Yeah. And then this is like the best lip gloss ever. It's the Kylie lip gloss. And from obviously Kylie Jenner. Very oh my gosh, Kylie oh my Jenner. Gosh. Oh my gosh. She spends her allowance on most of this stuff. Yes. Be yes. Or this is this is Christmas. It's like a year's worth of collection. So you used about 87 products to come up with a very natural, glowy look. And yes. I think the big difference is your the look now is this like glowy natural like and then the look in the 90s was very like matte brown like it was not there was like we were not going for natural back yeah. then i think i learned something i think your makeup routine now is actually pretty good besides the lack of primer but thanks lola you're welcome so what should Lola teach us next? Should Lola take us shopping? Lola appeared in another video. She said the side party's old, for sure. Where she told us where side parts and skinny jeans were out. I had so many people text me going, oh my gosh, so what do I wear if not skinny jeans? Should Lola- Mom jeans. Ironically, they're called yeah. mom jeans. So should Lola take us shopping? Yeah. Give me, a, give me a Gen Z makeover. Okay, anyway, thanks Lola. You're welcome. Thanks for Bye. watching.